good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today we've got a little extravaganza on the right to travel freely on the land because this supreme case law to back that up according to these people and uh, I haven't seen it yet they haven't uh, exactly uh, come out and show us exactly where it says we have the right to drive without a license but we'll take a good look at some of these hundreds of videos I found Let's get started with a guy who claims to sell this information to law enforcement. This should be fantastic. What's going on YouTube? It's the Bad Wolf. Hey, check it out. So your wolf man was contacted by a former police officer. This is not the first time. That okay, hold up. This first guy reminds me very much of someone else. Who could it be? Who could it be? Oh yeah, that guy, the armed fisherman. <laughs> the resemblance to their videos are, are amazing, simply amazing. Anyway, let's see what else the original guy has to say. They've asked me to help change their status and find out what's really going on. But this particular one is doing right to travel. <laughs> he wanted to thank me for showing him how to do this and what was really going on. Um, and for those people who also ask, my neighbor is a former police officer. All right, I've got friends and family who are police officers. They know exactly what I do. And they support it in the private. But they can't support it in public because, well... Yeah, well, people don't want to be humiliated and embarrassed in front of thousands, if not millions of people when they make a video about the right to travel. Then they go to court and they lose because they don't understand the Tenth Amendment. That's management for you. Anyway, guys, I just want to let you guys know that we are making a difference. Um, this is real. These are our facts. These are our, our rights and our liberties. So make sure that you guys have followed all the videos and all the steps that you're going to do right to travel and enjoy yourselves out there be safe and don't be a belligerent or a combatant all right wolf's out seminar's coming soon well darn it i missed that seminar i couldn't afford whatever he's charging to go see it so i didn't get a chance to attend uh, i'm sorry i can't bring that to you anyway let's move on to another guy who is equally as ignorant as this guy was let's check him out this guy's pretty funny driving with no license no registration no insurance part one and in the next 60 seconds, I'm going to explain why you can't drive with no license. There's why has this guy got a filter blurring out his mouth? Does he have rotten teeth or something? What's going on here? Many reasons why you can drive with no license, no registration, no insurance. First, you have to understand driving is a privilege that's regulated by states. But when you use the term travel, that's in the Constitution. You can travel freely in your private property. Now let's look at the legal definitions of motor vehicle and drive. All right, let's show what his Google search shows on the right to drive without license. The term motor vehicle means every description of carriage or other conveyance propelled or drawn by mechanical power and is used for commerce purposes on the highways in the transportation of passengers, passengers and property, or property and cargo. Nowhere in that sentence does the word drive appear nowhere and this is like a 1917 I don't know some stupid law let's look it up well I looked that up at Cornell University they had a, a very uh, very specific definition of US code 31 whatever he's talking about here anyway mostly it's got to do with air aircraft but part uh, you'll see if you can see the whole document here he blurred out what's underneath this uh, because it's primarily about aircraft in one section, I think it's section seven, it has like nine or ten different sections. It talks about the motor vehicle that you're seeing right here. Nowhere in any of that code does it say it's okay to drive that without a license. Nowhere. Here it's just defining what it means under the under the US commercial code, nothing else. Not not regular drivers. Commercial code. It doesn't apply to regular drivers. If you don't have a commercial license, it doesn't apply to you and nowhere does it say anything about driving. I'll go ahead and pause the video right here so you can know the federal law definition of motor vehicle. I'll go ahead and pause right here so you can know the federal law definition of drive. Now if you pause the video, you read that motor vehicles are used for commercial purposes. 
So as long as you're in your private property as a private man, that is not considered a motor vehicle. And you are not driving, you are traveling. And let's look up uh, 43 U.S. Supreme Court like he's showing here. See what it says. All right, Rule 43, costs. If the court affirms judgment of petitioner or appellant shall pay costs under the court otherwise ordered. Two, if the court reverses or vacates judgment, got nothing to do with driving. The clerk's fees, nothing to do with driving. Four, in a case involved, certified question, costs are equally divided. All it is about costs. To the extent permitted, costs under this rule allow or against the United States, nothing to do with driving. Costs, six. In extraordinary circumstances, the court may adjudge double costs. It's all about costs. It has nothing to do with driving. It doesn't say anything about driving. It's all nonsense. Anyway, let's move on to the next moron. Yes. So are you, sir. Oh, great. Awesome. Yes. How you doing? Awesome all the time. Good. Things good? All the time, man. Good. Let's see, you're exercising your Second Amendment right? I exercise all of my rights, sir. The reason why is because I'm a true, natural, indigenous person of this planet, of this country. My name, of course. You guys already know because you got my information. Yeah. And uh, I'm just freely traveling. Sweet. I'm not working using the road for commerce. They told me that I was pulled over because I was told I did not have a license. Mm -hmm. Well... I don't believe I have to have a license or insurance to be able to travel on the road. I'm pretty sure you do. But no, you don't. Uh, it's free travel. It's called the right to travel freely, actually, is what it is. And I have that information right there. You can see both the I've case actually, histories I've, if you'd like I've to see it. it There's four different case histories. There, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, he said all that just before they impounded his car, towed it away, and he walked to wherever he was going and getting a ticket for driving without a license. So let's move on. Next idiot, please. And the United States Supreme Court has held multiple times that the right of locomotion, the right to remove from one place to another according to inclination, is an attribute of personal liberty. And he's absolutely right. You're free to travel by skateboard, by pickup truck in the back, if you're in the back or if you're in a passenger seat or, you know, whatever. If you're on one of them little push scooters that doesn't have a motor on it, you can travel all over the place. The right to travel means you can go from one state to another without anybody stopping you at the border and checking your papers and all of that stuff. Unless it's an immigration thing and then, of course, you got to do all that. But anyway, that's all that law says. There's nothing about driving. Not a damn thing. There is no Supreme case law that says you have a right to drive without a driver's license. But if you don't believe me, let's listen to an actual attorney explain it to you because he's smarter than all of these guys, uh, and it's pretty interesting. Now, this is an actual attorney. I'm not sure from what state he's in, but it's Matthew Harris Law, PLC, PLLC. So he is an actual attorney, and he's going to explain the right to travel. Did you know that you don't need a driver's license, registration, or insurance if you are not transporting commercial goods or passengers for pay? At least, that's what sovereign citizens think. The problem is that is absolutely false. Sovereign citizens claim that because we have a right to travel, the government doesn't have the authority to restrict that right through vehicle registrations, insurance, and licenses. This argument has routinely been dismissed by the courts because regulating a method of travel does not inherently interfere with the right to travel. Driving on public roads is a privilege and all privileges are subject to regulation. There you go, very briefly and concisely explained, the right to travel is nonsense. There is a right to travel, but not without a driver's license if you're behind the wheel of a motor vehicle. Anyway, that's all I can stand of these guys. I mean, there are hundreds of these videos, and I just can't take it anymore. I think eight, nine minutes is plenty long enough. Anyway, you all have a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the right to travel video. Y'all have a fantastic day. Love y'all. Bye.